Hi. Uh, so let's implement a simple uh, MVC application using um, Sencha Touch uh, 2.0. So uh, what we do in this application is uh, we're going to create a very simple form like this. Okay, with a text box to enter your name and you're going to have a click button okay so you enter your name and uh, click okay so it's just going to echo uh, your name saying uh, hello Prabhu or hello Sam things like that okay so what we will do is uh, we will implement this using Sencha 2.0 but in uh, using MVC okay so so this is your application so let's get into the coding right away okay so let's go to visual studio so i'm going to use visual studio um, you can use any editor you want okay so i use visual studio to make things uh, uh, better okay so a lot more faster so what i have done is i've created a very simple application and uh, have uh, put all the uh, basic uh, files uh, from sencha okay the source and uh, resources okay and i have uh, Sencha touch uh, all dot js file over here and what i'm going to do is to begin with okay i have this index.html so let's take the css and include it okay so i have included the uh, css file so i need to uh, include the basic uh, javascript file so i will include this so um, since we're going to use uh, mbc one of the basic things that I'm going to do is I'm going to make create a folder structure okay, and uh, have the controllers, views, models created. Okay, for this application, we really don't have model or store anything. So what I'll do is I'll add, I'll create a folder called app, and inside this I'm going to create a folder called controller, and let me create a folder view okay so we really don't have a model or store or profiles for this application because we want to just keep it very simple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a js file called app.js created in my project so we choose uh, app.js all right so i have app.js so uh, I'm going to create a basic application, okay, so that will be like uh, uh, the master, okay, which will have link to all the controllers and uh, your views, okay, well, so txt or application and let's have this, okay, so let's create a name for this application, this will be a namespace name, so I'll call it, let's say, Tirasoft. And uh, uh, so let's have a launch function over here. Okay, so I want to alert, I'm going to say all set. Fine. So to begin with, this is going to be my uh, starting point. Okay, so go to index.html. I include this app.js as well. Okay, and this will be the only uh, JS file that I'm going to include apart from the uh, core library. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, let's do it incrementally. So I open my uh, browser. So I have this code and I have all set. Perfect. Okay, so let's go on. So what I want to do is I want to build a form uh, with the name text box and a button. Okay, so I'm going to define a view. So what I'll do is I'll go to view, I'm going to create a new item and I'm going to have, I'm going to call it, let's say, main view. Okay, so this is going to be a very simple uh, class, okay, called main view. Okay, and I'm going to extend it from a panel. Okay, so it's going to be a panel that's going to have uh, the uh, text box to enter the name, uh, the button to uh, the button to click, and a simple label to display uh, a message. 
Okay, so this is my view. So you can notice, okay, this is the name of the application, which is like the root name space. So I'm going to extend it from panel. So I'm going to define the basic configuration properties of this. Okay, so uh, I'll do the height of this panel, say 150 width. Okay, so 300. Uh, let me give some padding uh, and okay. uh, let me define the items. So what I want is I want a uh, uh, text field. So we'll have a text field and a label, say name. Okay, and an ID for this. I'll call this say name text field. Okay, so let's have a button. Okay, so let's have a button. I will have an extract button. I'll give a text. So let's call it click and let's give an ID. So I'll say a click uh, button. Okay, so perfect. So now let's create a label where I can display the message. So have a label and uh, uh, let's call it uh, 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 display label. Okay, let's give a simple style over here. I, I, have, I have it as uh, let's say color, I want a blue color, okay, something okay, instead of a bland one. So this is my uh, view. Okay, so I want it to be displayed in the screen, full screen. Okay, there we go. So I have a view with the uh, uh, extends panel. Okay, the basic uh, height, width, so padding. Okay, it's going to have a text box, a button, or a label where you display a message. So I'm going to define this particular view. Okay, so I just this is your main view. Inside your app to JS, so I'm going to say views. Okay, not a say main view. So it'll automatically look for Eurosoft dot uh, view dot main view class. Okay, so when you launch it, I'm going to uh, create this view. So this is going to be my main view. So dot main view. Right. So there, there we go. So we have a view creator. So let me run this. So let's run this now. Let's get the uh, uh, Xbox button. Perfect. Okay, so let's quickly check. You have any issues? No. So you have a name. Okay, so you can always uh, add up uh, uh, more style uh, information. Okay, so to make it uh, look a lot more jazzier. So when you click on this, when I enter some name, and click okay I want to have a message saying hello Prabhu over here so this action I'm going to have it defined inside a controller so let's go to the controller folder I'm going to create a new JS file let me call this say a main controller a main controller so my app.js I'm going to have it configured as controllers main controller okay so just one controller we have for this so let's define this controller so I'll say ext.define so we'll call it Microsoft.controller or main controller and I'm going to have it extend the root controller class which is ext or app or controller okay so let's do the basic configuration so what I want to do is okay so this is something slightly different from Senchav 1.0 okay or 1.x version so I'm going to have create a reference to various view components so that it will be easy for me to access it uh, from anywhere inside my controller class so what do I have? Okay, so I have this. Uh, I have a click button. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, uh, 
I'll configure this click button. So let's give an ID for this and say click button. So this is the button I want to configure. Okay, so have this. Then let's configure the text field, the name text field, and uh, display label. So um, what I do is let's say uh, your name text field. Okay, you give a different name. So what is the ID that it's going to refer to? So name text field. So what it means is this particular variable is going to refer to the controller. Okay, to, to the component. Uh, uh, of ID name text speed. Okay, so then we're going to have a display label variable which is going to be mapped to our display label uh, component. So I have those uh, references created here. So let's register the events. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the events registered. So for the click uh, button, okay. So whenever I tap this button, whenever I tap this button, I'm going to call a function uh, called echo. So which I haven't written yet. Okay. So this is the only even I have as of now. So there we go. So the final thing is let's create this echo function and. When I call, when I tap this button, I'm going to call this echo function. Inside this function, I'm going to get the name, okay, and display it inside the label. So, since we have referred to, uh, we, we have created references to the view components, okay, it's a lot more easier. So, you can just say this dot uh, get the display label dot set html okay so i'm going to say hello and i need to get the value of the text field so this dot get name text field dot get value so let's have a simple exclamation mark over here so there we go so you create a controller you create references to various view components and you register the events so when the click button is tapped, it's going to call a function called echo. So over here, I get the value present in the text field, name text field, and display it in the label. So we have registered this controller in app.js. Okay, so let's run this. So let's run this. So you in browser. Enter your name. Click hello Prabhu. So this is a very simple MVC application using Sencha 2.0. So if you want more information, okay, on MVC 2.0 uh, and in Sencha 2.0, okay, so you can send mail to uh, Prabhu at durasoftindia.com. Okay, if you want more information on uh, Sencha Touch, okay, other uh, services, you can uh, go to durasoftindia.com. So Thank you.